Zombie Apocalypse. <lacht> What's up guys, it's Patriots Man here and I am back with another video. Today guys, we're going to be opening up two random flashback iconic packs to end off the flashbacks promo. So I haven't got any flashbacks iconic so far in the promo, I've been saving up my stuff to get these two packs. I have enough for two of them to open up for a video and I wanted to save till I had enough. I do have some extra uncommons and rares from flashbacks that I'll likely use for Mad and Max and I believe I have a couple epics as well. I know those do go for like 60 Madden Max tokens each, so I will get some Madden Max tokens from those. I'm probably going to put these Iconics into a Marvel to trade in for Madden Max, or just trade these Iconics I get today straight into Madden Max tokens without putting them in a Marvel. We'll see how it goes, but I do plan to not actually use the Iconics today I get in this video because I want to use them towards Madden Max to get more Madden Max players. As we all know, S8 players did not get nerfed. Those trades are still the same as of the time we're recording. So let's go ahead and get our two random flashbacks iconics and see what we get. Let's go ahead and get it done guys. So first one here, we have enough epics and one extra epic after these. So here we go. First random flashbacks iconics can be a 182 overall player. It is an update team and let's see who it is. It is DeAndre Carr, the pun returner 182 overall. So honestly, he would make my team if I was putting him on. He's going to replace the Marcus Jones. But I'm not actually going to put him on my team. He will go towards a Madden Max player. Second one here, our second flashbacks iconic. Let's see what we get in this one. Who is it going to be? We're going to do the animation and see update team once again. And DeAndre Carter once again. Now, actually, that is a good thing. All right, hold on a second here. Getting a duplicate there was actually really, really good for Madden Max. Look at it right here. Trading in one SN iconic gets you 300 Madden Max tokens. Trading in a foil gets you more than double, 857. So basically, getting a foil is really, really good profit there. If I would have pulled DeAndre Carter and pulled like Stefan Diggs, I would have got 600, 300 from each. But considering that I can now foil DeAndre Carter from getting him twice, instead of getting 600, I'll actually get 857 from that one iconic foil. So honestly, let's go ahead and do it. We're going to build the 197 overall DeAndre Carter foil right here. And we're going to get an extra like 250 Madden Max tokens from doing the foil instead of trading in two Iconics. That was actually a really good pull in today's video. Now I might as well go over and add him to my team anyway so I can get some overall right now. And I'll just take him off my team when it comes time for Madden Max. But there we go. DeAndre Carter foil is now currently on the team. Amazing pulls in today's video for sure. That was awesome guys. At first it didn't ring a bell but honestly if you pull two of the same Iconic that's actually insane value because you're getting 250 extra Madden Max tokens and that will be a tip I talk about when it comes to building more Madden Maxes when it officially drops. There are efficient ways to go about Madden Max and that is one of them. Building foils instead of building singular iconics and promos is going to be more beneficial to getting more Madden Max tokens and that right there was all luck. I built two randoms, got the same player, so getting the same player now is actually a good thing. But yeah, guys, that's going to be our two random flashbacks iconics to round out flashbacks here in Madden Mobile 23. A pretty good end, I would say. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.